Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be telling you how to correctly hack Pokemon Go. Now, there's been a lot of methods using um, it, exposed installer and mock mock locations, you know, and just none of it would work for me. I rebooted my phone, I've done all that, and it just wouldn't work. And I see everybody in the comments are having the same problem. They rebooted their phone, they've done all the steps, and it's just, it only worked for a select few people. Now, I, ha I have a hack that will pretty much work for everybody. It's a very simple, it doesn't involve exposed, it doesn't involve all these GPS apps that everybody wants you to download down here. All you need is System Map Mover and Lockito. I probably read that wrong, but who cares? Um, now, what you once you get these two apps, you're gonna need to be rooted and allow the root for System Map Mover, and you just want to scroll down and find Lakito. I've already turned it into a System Map, so it's not gonna show up on this list unless I show System Maps. But um. Oh, I, I said no, and it said you should, and then what? Oh, pushy. Alright, but whatever. So, once you move it to a system map, it's gonna make you reboot your phone. But, what? that's normal. And then, you're gonna have your location on. And it's gonna throw you to your general location, and then you can just move it around wherever. And to put a little marker in a location you like, all you have to do is just hold down. Just hold your finger down, you can just put up a little marker. And then to delete, you just tap it. There. So once you got your marker where you like, make sure it says start. Don't put an end, because this app has the ability of making your marker walk places or simulate walking speed, but what I'm gonna be doing, it's not gonna really work for that. It's just, you put it down in one location, you're staying in that location. And that will later be explained when I'm showing you how. So, once you have the location you want, just hit, just hit play on Pokemon Go, or not Pokemon Go, on um, GPS. And then now you're going to open up Pokemon Go. When you open up Pokemon Go, do not have this on. When you open it up, you want to see the blue ocean. And it should say, looking for your GPS signal. Or, can't find it. Alright, even though this is on, this is currently on, it's still not, or it's still not throwing my location. And that's because my location is on. Now, another th a thing you need to note with this app, sometimes if it's not throwing your location where you want, you probably actually have to go back on the app and hit the play button, even though right now it says it's currently playing. It, it just... It, it bugs out sometimes where you actually have to go on the app to see if it's playing or displaying your location somewhere else. Now, what you have to do is you have to quickly hit location and then hit it again. Don't go on too long. Just enough so it reads your location. It's nice to have Wi-Fi on just so you can load your Pokestops faster. And look, here's, here's the, oh, your two Pokemon. Now, it should work as normal. Got an egg, that's lit. And the thing with this is, you can hack it in pretty much any location, but you have to be cautious. Because if you leave your location on too long, it will throw you back 
or it will throw your character back or your GPS. Now here, I'm gonna hold it. So what happens when you leave this on is it will throw you in your real location, even though you have the GPS hack. And you don't want that. And if this happens, you actually have to close out of the app and you're gonna have to force close it. It's, you can normally open it or close it, then open it, but I find it works best if you force stop. And sometimes if it's really not working, you're gonna have to clear your cache. And a few more things are gonna have to be noted. Cause it does occasionally kind of bug out even though you're on it. And when I say bug out, I'm not talking about a major bug, I'm just talking like a uh, minor thing. Gonna let it run up. Location's off. It's loading. The location, turn it off. And it probably paused itself like I specified. See, it said it was playing, but I have to open it up again, or play it on the actual app. Right. So, I'm gonna hit location. Right. Turn it off. You gotta be quick about it. If you leave it on, t if you leave the location on too long, no pokey stops will show up. Like currently. No poke stops will show up if you leave the location on too long. And from there you have to close the app and retry it. And another thing, you can only do the poke stops two times. So back at the poke stops that were originally there, I can only do them two times before closing the process because after the first time, or the second time, you hit the pokey stops, the same ones that you're getting, it's not gonna let you be able to do them. It's gonna say try again or pokey stops too far away. And so when that happens, you're actually gonna have to turn off the app. You have to turn off the app and just restart it. Sorry, I had a hiccup. and it closed down. But yeah, and that's pretty much it. That's how you hack your location. And every now and then when a pokey stops not working, you're just gonna have to close out of the app, repeat the same process to hack your location, and it should work from there. And everything works, but you just want to be fair. You don't want to throw your location too far off, just because this can get you banned, and it's for educational purposes only. Education. And another tip, make sure you do this at a park, because at parks, there's certain spots here, like over there, that general area, a lot of people use their, um, uh, I forgot what they're called, their lures or their modules in certain spots. So you want to have your location hacked in a spot where either you can pick up a lot in one place, or um, there people use a lot of modules at. Also, airports, if you hack your location there, a lot of people use modules there. And right now, it's not gonna work because it's... Oh, yeah, I thought it still had a timer on. And you can just keep hitting them. Now, if you want to do something strategic, you can set up a bot. So you hit up these Pokestops. And then you, each Pokestop gets you 50 XP. So you can try to bot it with Hyro Macro. 
and next video if I get 50,000 likes I'll show you how to hack your Pokecoins and this should be a guaranteed for everyone let me know in the comments if it's not working for you I'll see what I can do see if I can figure out anything else for you guys but enjoy your hacking know in the comments if it's not working for you I'll see what I can do see if I can figure out anything else for you guys but enjoy your hacking